Hey, what's up everyone? Vegetarian Zombie here again, and I want to welcome you back to Zombie. Alright, the last episode we uh, had to get the, the antibiotics. We went to meet our pal Vikram, but he turned into a zombie, and what do you know? The Age of Sun happens. Typical, typical story in the zombie apocalypse. And during that mission, we got a distress call from a girl in a church talking about... Oh, God talking about being holed up in a church but she has lots of weapons lots of ammo blah 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 and there are zombies everywhere and she said she's being attacked by zombies and we gotta go save her and the prepper mentioned that he that he thought it was a that he thought it was a trap and I am in agreement with him there so this episode we're gonna find out if we are both right or wrong and if we're gonna get our face eaten so let's check this out. And we need to scan this thing. Uh, here we go. Scan completed. Am I supposed to be where I... What's going on here? <laughs> Open. Need to scan hack. There we go. It's hard to see. Uh, it's hard to see with the light and so close. But yeah, there. All right. I do not like this right in here. Is that a door right here? Okay. This is one of these really dark places where the light just kind of flickers on and off and there's going to be a zombie everywhere. Lovely. You know, it's one of these things that, like, where the anticipation is really scary, but the zombies themselves aren't. Like, once you know where the zombie, like, it's like, it's scaring, it's scary that the zombie's going to come and get me. But then when you realize, oh, it's just one of these zombies... And this is also really cut and paste right here. Oh, man. This light is absolutely useless right now. All right. Moving in. Yeah. Jeez, this light is pretty terrible. And you can see that these assets here, they really just... It really is a copy and paste job. And one thing I noticed was I was walking through an earlier tunnel and I noticed this graffiti there and I noticed it because it looks the same as your the death symbol when you die on the map and uh, there it is the same same thing same graffiti same hole in the wall and stuff and you know this was a, a Wii U launch game and um, yeah you know copying and pasting does save you time and efforts and production schedules but it definitely does break immersion and all these assets are looking very familiar uh, I too. Don't know. She's telling the truth about those supplies, then let's at least try to keep you alive so you can bring some back. In the meantime, oh, travel geez. light. If it is a trap, you could lose everything. Thank you. See, I don't know if that's an active mine or not, so we're going to stay away from it. Nope, inactive mine. <laughs> Why would I do this, like, in real life? Like, this is so much worse. So much dangerous. Do I say dangerous, sir? sir? Alright, do we get the mine? Yeah, let's get that. I don't think that's going to really help us any. Anything here? Hey, buddy. Just making sure. God, going through the catacombs. This is a really stupid thing. And evidently, since we've been introduced to mines, they're now a factor in the game. That kind of stinks. It's not exactly what I like to see. Okay, there it is right there. Doesn't really make sense. Like, okay, right, we're going to move back here. Just because I don't know where that woman's come from. Like... For, th for me, things have to make sense in a game world sense. You know, like... Oh, God. <laughs> like, that's just... Who puts a mine down here? Oh, God. They're really throwing the zombies after me. What the heck? <laughs> Stop flopping around. All right, we got to get some first aid. Thank you. 
This reminds me of the other day I was playing Radiation Island and I'm like, I need this thing and a zombie came by and I killed it and I was like, he delivered exactly what I was looking for. Alright, we're gonna use this and we'll have a piece of cake. Awesome. Okay, is this where I want to go in here? Locked. Alright, this is one of these places that is kind of creepy when you're first going through, but... What, what did that do? You want to come in here? Alright, falling back. Really? <laughs> I guess the collider's still there. This is pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, and what do we have here? Just a loot thing? Okay, okay, we can come down through here. Alright. I don't mind the zombies per se. I just don't want the exploding zombies. I seem to be... I have a low batting average with, from those guys. Alright, I hear more zombies. Definitely we're going to go this way. Not really in an exploratory mood. Oh man, I can't see anything. My apologies if you can't see anything either. There's those cameras that don't do anything. Oh jeez. Load up. Now we know why the lights are off. Finish him. <laughs> He's got the flop. Wow, that submachine gun really let go. All right, do we... Oh, look at that. Large med kit. Uh, you know something? I think we're in good enough condition that we don't need it. But we will take that chocolate. All right, let's turn off this light here. And uh, I'm going to take this chocolate bar here. Okay, I'm going to wait until my light turns back on, and then uh, we'll continue. Okay, we're moving in. The light isn't exactly 100% restored, but it's enough. Well, so, not too sure I'll be using the submachine gun again. It, it's just, it went through its ammo way too fast, and the fact was, is it... Oh, another large med pack. Nice. And the fact was that I wasn't able to... It, it, it didn't have a lot of stopping power. Here I am mentioning stopping power. Doesn't have a lot of stopping power like I know what I'm talking about. What is that? Oh, just rats. I do not trust this first aid pack there. Oh, not one of these zombies. Ugh, these things are so irritating. Okay. Open up. Can you open? I guess that's only a one way door. Let's try this one. Hello. Oh, she's in here. Oh. If you'd listen to me. <laughs> uh. All right. Thank you. You know, why didn't I think about doing that before? <laughs> oh, jeez. I hate the screaming, screaming, whatever that zombie is. Okay, let's find my corpse. 
There we go. We got all this stuff. And let's let's assign some. Uh, actually, let's do that. One, two, two, three, like that. Awesome. Now we are ready to party. We need to find that junction box also. That's going to be really helpful. UC4. Oh, Jay's run! <laughs> Again, I think that's like a completely ridiculous use of C4. <laughs> what are we going to... What is that? Where is that? Where are you coming from? Come on. I would go to the zombie, but I don't want to... Uh, I didn't want my flank to be up. I don't want my flank to be absurd, you know? I don't want to be exposed over there, if you know what I'm saying. So it was, that was just a big waste of C4. Okay. Let's open that. Hello. <laughs> just making sure. Okay, nothing in here. That's helping me. Out of order. I'm guessing later on I would come in here and there's probably some reason for me to be in here. I'm not too sure. Oh, look at that. Firing spread upgrade. There we go. That makes sense. And we looted and let's get on. Let's get it on. Get back to the catacombs. So when I think of catacombs, I think of like, oh, here we go. I think of like, you know, the catacombs under Paris where they buried people. This seems just like an underground area. Maybe I'm confusing. This with that. Okay, this doesn't look... Okay, it looks like we got a crawler. Check behind us. Yep. Awesome. There's a safe house right over there, but we're just going to make sure everything is safe before we venture into the safe house, if you know what I mean. Whew. And let's see what else we got here. Yeah, nothing that's going to help us. All right. This is a good, good location to crash, and let's just... You know, I've always... Oh, enter the code. Oh, wait a minute. Let's check. Can we hack it? Need code. Wow. <laughs> Thank God I searched that, that person. All right, so there's the D. Let's see if we can see any codes. I'm guessing there's probably hidden codes around here. Molotov cocktail, nothing. That's weird. We got a junction box. Perfect. Let's see what we got around here. Huh. What was that? Oh, wait. Look at this. Look at that. Ah. And if I... I can't really jump, but if I move back... Like that. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. 6703, guys. Whew. Come down here. I don't know why they made it hard for their own members, but hey, what you, what, what, what can you do? Nice. Does this place have a light? <laughs> this isn't nice. We can put our loot in here, stuff that we find, and yeah. But there's really this is just kind of a loot area, and we got a spread upgrade. Not perfect, but what can you do? Uh, this place was kind of a letdown, to tell you the truth. All right, let's move on. Okay, we got our lights on, and we're moving again. Oh, wait. Looks like I was already at my goal before. I didn't realize it. Oh, this is where the creepy zombie is. Wait, no? Huh. 
Am I missing something here? I'm not reading my map right. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that was completely random. Oh, jeez. I feel like I'm playing alien. Hey, zombie. Let's go to our home here, and then we can come back and do a little more ex exploration. Oh, this does not sound good. All right, let's open this up. Hello. Oh, I, I am walking on eggshells right now. I do not trust what's down here. Whew, we made it. All right, guys. <laughs> we made it back to our... Which is nice, because if we die, we don't have to do all that crazy thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back and I'm going to save. And we're going to call it the end of this episode. And in the next one, we'll continue on to, to find the, the lady in the church. And hopefully, uh, she is who she is. She is who she says she is, and uh, she won't eat my face. But um, I'm guessing it's going to be more of the latter than the former. All right, everyone. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one. See you then.